opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. Nc6 helps control both the d4 square and the e5 square. D4 offers to trade a center pawn for the C5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. Cx D4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx D4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended E4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and puts more pressure on the d5 square. e5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the knight on d4. Ndb5 gets the knight away from danger, and threatens the strong nd6+. d6 stops the threat of nd6+, supports the e5 pawn, and allows the light squared bishop to develop. bg5 pins the knight on f6 and threatens nc3 d5. A6 kicks the knight off of the active b5 square. Na3 retreats the attacked knight, it will look for a new square on c2 after white plays c2 c3 or c2 c4. b5 gains space on the queen side and threatens to fork the knights with b5 b4. Nd5 places the knight on a center square and attacks the pinned f6 knight. b7 develops the bishop and prepares castling. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is an equal trade. This defends the attacked pawn. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. This protects the attacked pawn. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable bishop. It is a mistake. Takes back. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a queen. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is good.